What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today we're going to be talking about both silver and gold quite a bit, but we also have to talk a little bit about stocks and why I believe the Federal Reserve is crashing the market. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. And of course, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. The link will be in the description. So today is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. The current spot price of silver, as I'm filming the video, is $22.57. It's up 12 cents or up 0.53%. Spot price of gold is 18.07 even. It's up $5.40 or up 0.3%. And the gold to silver ratio is in the 79 to 80 to 1 range. But again, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing, posting, or as you're watching. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking quite a bit about silver and gold. We have a little bit on display. We have some gold backs over here, some miscellaneous coins, some 10 ounce silver bars, queens, beasts, creatures of the north, Aztec calendar round. But before we even get into the money, I think we also need to first talk about the currency. So if you haven't already heard, the Federal Reserve recently announced that they're going to be tapering and raising rates quicker than expected. A lot of people are wondering what the overall impact is going to be. What's going to happen when the Fed stops buying bonds? What's going to happen when they stop printing so much currency? Will that reduce inflation or are prices so high mainly due to supply chain issues? I guess we'll find out because it's obviously too early to make any conclusive statements about that, but the market was very quick to react. For the last week, week and a half, we've been seeing almost nothing but red, and today is no exception. We have the S&P 500 down 0.36%, we have the Dow Jones down 0.51%, we have the NASDAQ down 0.06%. And considering that the tech sector has been carrying the weight of the entire market for the last 18 to 24 months, I like to pay close attention to what some of the biggest tech companies are doing and how they're performing. First up, we have Tesla, which is considered tech on wheels. It's down 0.18% today. Then we have Apple down 0.33% today. But then we have Amazon, which is actually doing pretty well today. It's currently up 0.72%. It's priced at $3,253 even. Now, personally... I believe we're currently going through a period rotating out of tech stocks and into value stocks. Again, it's too early to make any conclusive statements. Only time will tell. But that's what I believe we're going to be seeing in the near future. But I do have a feeling that Amazon will be somewhat of an exception to that. And by the way, really quick, speaking of Amazon, like I said before, go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. But if you refer three friends to the app this month, Weeble's going to give you $150 worth of Amazon stock for free guaranteed with the chance of winning all the way up to $3,000 worth of Amazon stock once again for free. All you have to do is click the little invite button. There's one right there within the app. Just click it, send it to three friends. It's quite literally that Simple. Go get your free stocks. Go get your free fractional share of Amazon. We will link in the description. But now, moving away from all of that, moving away from the currency, moving away from the stocks, moving away from the Federal Reserve, let's talk about money. So on display right here, like I said before, I have a pretty decent selection when it comes to gold. I have some gold backs. I have some gold coins over here. We have some silver round, silver bar, silver coins on display. And like I had mentioned earlier in the video, precious metals doing pretty good today. Stock market's down. 
Tech stocks are surprisingly down for the most part. Silver and gold are both up. Silver's up 0.53%. Gold is up 0.3%. Precious metals are having a pretty okay day. Now, as I've been saying in previous videos, for the last week, week and a half, as the stock market has been suffering, the precious metals haven't really been doing a whole lot. When they're green, they're not too green. When they're red, they're not too red. They've kind of been moving sideways a little bit for the last week, week and a half, maybe even two weeks at this point. And I consider that to be a good thing because while everything else is bleeding out, the silver and gold are pretty much standing strong and holding their own. And I think that's what a lot of people like to see, especially when it comes to where they are parking their dollars or where they are storing their value. And that goes for anything, by the way, whether it be land, whether it be rental properties, whether it be stocks, whether it be precious metals, whatever people choose to use as a tool of wealth preservation, when everything else is bleeding out, when everything else is suffering, when everything else is deep in the red, if what they chose is trading sideways for the time being, I think at the very least, that's what people are looking for. It doesn't have to skyrocket during bad times, but if it can hold its own, I think that's what a lot of people are looking for. And that kind of signals to me that there are a lot of people out there that maybe with the stock market falling down and people selling off some of their positions, they're still holding on to their silver and their gold. That's just what this tells me. I don't know exactly what's happening, but that's what I believe this is an indication of. And with the silver and gold, Moving forward, once again, it's too early to make any conclusive statements, but I think it's going to be really interesting to sit back and observe how the precious metals are going to do as the Fed continues the taper while picking up the pace and also raising rates sooner than expected. I think it's going to be very interesting to see how silver and gold react to that process. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. What are your thoughts on everything going on? Do you believe the Federal Reserve is essentially crashing the market right now? What are your thoughts on silver and gold kind of trading sideways for the time being? Meanwhile, everything else is coming crashing down. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and coffee mugs all up for grabs, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club where I do monthly giveaways, live streams multiple times a week, deal alerts on silver and gold every single day, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free, and there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP club link in the description. And last but not least, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. That's all you have to do. And then if you tell three friends about Weeble this month, Weeble will give you $150 worth of Amazon stock guaranteed for free with the chance of winning all the way up to $3,000 worth of Amazon stock for free. Just click the little invite button. They have it right there for you. Send it to three friends. It's that simple. Go get your free stocks. Go get your fractional share of Amazon. Go get your money. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video topic? With the Federal Reserve doing what the Federal Reserve does, do you think that this is causing the market to crash? Do you think that this is causing all of the red that we have been seeing over the last week, week and a half, especially and of course, what are your thoughts on silver and gold standing strong during times like these where, for the most part, everything else is in the red? I mean, we're even seeing the digital currencies in the red. But the precious metals, if they go red, they don't go too red. They're kind of trading sideways and they're also going kind of green. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.